Our objectives over the next six minutes are to show you how to quickly calculate sums such as 200 is what percent greater than 120, show you how to find one amount as a percent of another amount, and explore the different ways in which this skill can be tested. Let's get to it. There are many slow ways to calculate percentage differences, but only one quick way. If I asked you 15,200 is what percent greater than 12,800, you need to be able to get to the answer within 10 seconds. Any longer and you are wasting precious seconds. How would you do it? Alright, so you have 10 seconds to answer this question. Try it. I'm going to show you a quick method to tackle questions like this. It requires the use of division. You do not need to manually calculate the difference in amounts and then insert that difference into some formula. Instead, simply divide the two amounts. But do we divide 12,800 by 15,200 or 15,200 by 12,800? Well, which number came after the word than or of in the question? This is the number that must come second in the calculation. In the question, I asked you, 15,200 is what percent greater than 12,800? The number 12,800 came after the than. According to the rule that I just mentioned, this means that we must divide 15,200 by 12,800 with the 12,800 coming second. This gives us 1.1875. How do you interpret that result? To find the percentage difference, you need to subtract 1 from your answer. 1.1875 minus 1 equals 0 0.1875. Multiply by 100 to change this fraction to a percentage. 15,200 is therefore 18.75% greater than 12,800. It is worth spending a moment to point out another question type that some students get confused by percent of questions. If the question I had asked was 15,200 is what percent of 12,800, we would have a different result. This is a percent of question. We still divide the same way, getting 1.1875, but this time we simply multiply by 100 to get our answer of 118.75. 15,200 is 118.75% of 12,800. Importantly, this is the same as saying that 15,200 is 18.75% greater than 12,800. If you're not quite sure about your calculations yet, don't worry. We will be putting all of this into practice with a few examples. This is a percent of question. We divide as usual with the number coming after the than or of second in the calculation. 2.45 divided by 0.75 gives 3.27 to two decimal places. Therefore, the cost of pens of type X is 327% of the cost of pens of type Y. We've come to the end of our practice questions. I hope that you've learned how to tackle what percent more than and percent of questions and feel more confident with answering them at speed. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.